Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to give you my first impressions for this really nice dive watch by Orient, the Orient Ray 2. And um, I had this watch for about a week now, and my initial impressions are really great. Uh, I'm very impressed by this watch um, for a number of reasons. I mean, one, uh, you get this really nice um, blue sunburst dial and blue bezel, which I just love. And then you also get um, Orient's in-house movement. This is running the F6922 movement, which is 22 joules, um, operates at 21,600 vibrations per hour, and you can hack and hand wind it as well. And what I really love about this movement is the um, accuracy. Um, it's been running for, you know, just under a week now, um, non-stop. And uh, I checked this very accurately against uh, my atomic watch. And it's only operating at about plus three seconds a day. And that's really, really impressive. That's actually better than um, a lot of my entry-level Swiss watches that run... Uh, ETA movements like the ETA 2824-2. Um, in addition to this movement, uh, you also get the day-date complication at the 3 o'clock position if you look at the dial. Um, now where it does differ slightly compared to say um, a Swiss made ETA movement is the, uh, the changeover for the day and date is a little slow whereas you know if the ETA as soon as it hits that 12 o'clock, it flips right over. But, I mean, that's a really minor detail. Uh, overall, I mean, the accuracy is amazing, um, especially for the price point of this watch, which you can pick up for under $200 easily. Um, so let's move in on the dial just a little bit. I really love that blue sunburst dial, and I love the attention to detail in the dial, too. You can see that all the hour markers... Um, I have very nice application of loom. They're all applied as well. I don't know if you can tell. And even the uh, the Orient symbol right below the 12 o'clock, I believe that's applied as well. And uh, I just like the, the, the minute and hour hands. You kind of got that sword minute hand. And then you got that very prominent arrow hour hand. Even the second hand I like how they added just that uh, red arrow tip and it has a very small loom application as well. Um, I mean, the dial overall is pretty clean. It does say Orient at 12 o'clock and then near the 6 o'clock you do have the water resistant indicator or water resistant 200 meters which is your standard diver um, water resistant reading. The bezel, I mean, I love the look of a bezel too. You can also see that there's a small uh, loom pip on the bezel which works pretty well um, I like how everything lines up too they, they've done a good job here um, I'm a Seiko fanboy but one of the critiques people give and I know this true for my own um, Seiko divers even their prospects line you don't always have the best alignment um, with the bezel or for chaptering or the hour indices they don't always line up well. This watch I've inspected at a macro level. It lines up. Everything lines up really well. Um, I will talk about the bezel though. Kind of a negative for me is uh, the teeth on the bezel are um, not that grippy. And the bezel is very, very stiff. There's no play there whatsoever. So, I mean, it's kind of a double-edged sword. It's nice not to have any uh, play in a bezel, but uh, I have a very difficult time operating. <laughs> I'm just going to leave it there for now. Um, but, it, I mean, it lines up really well. Um, the, uh, the, the glass on this, it's a mineral crystal, not sapphire. Um, but that being said, I've nicked it a few times. And there's no visible scratches or anything like that. It is a little reflective, but... With that nice blue dial and the contrasting white markers, everything is very legible, which is great. Um, talking about the dimensions, it's it's a very nice sized watch. It'll fit a large profile of wrist, I think. 
It comes in at just under 42 millimeters in diameter. I think it's 41.5. The thickness of it is 13 millimeters. And then um, the, uh, the distance from the lug here for the bracelet is 22 millimeters. And then tip to tip, you're looking at about 46 millimeters. So it's very wearable. Um, you know, I have a larger wrist, and I'll throw it on the wrist in a second, but uh, it wears really nicely for me, but it also fits smaller wrists really well. If I flip it back to the side here, um, you can see the finishing is pretty nice, and the crown, it's a signed crown with polish. Um, it is a screw-down crown, um, and there are crown guards there. Uh, this does hack in hand wind, as I think I mentioned earlier. It is a little difficult to unscrew the crown. I just find that the, uh, the again, the gnarling on the crown, similar to the bezel, it just, it's not that grippy. Um, and maybe it's because I have really fat fingers and because I'm wearing uh, gloves. But to unscrew and re-thread re the crown, I find very difficult. But once it is unscrewed, it's really easy. The action to manually wind it is really smooth. To change over the date and adjust the time is really smooth as well. Uh, let's move over to the bracelet. Uh, it's a comfortable bracelet, very nice. Um, again, 22 millimeters at the lugs, tapering down to about 20. Um, you have a signed orient here on the clasp. I like that it's a, it's a double push button deployment here. Class is okay. Um, decent um, machining on the class. Um, kind of a negative for me, but not unexpected at this price point, is hollow end links. Um, yeah, you can see the end links here. They're definitely hollow. And uh, also, you can kind of see the end link here doesn't mesh up like it there's kind of a small ridge here to where the lugs meet but this could easily be rectified if you wanted to throw it on a different strap or bracelet I think I might actually throw this on a leather bracelet because it looks really nice I'm trying to focus in here on the case back uh, you do have the Orient logo in the middle and it just essentially says that it's stainless steel and water resistant you can see though that the case back itself is screwed down which is great aiding in the water resistance. So overall my impressions are really good. Um, let me throw it on the wrist now and I'll show you how it wears. Okay guys so this is uh, the Orient Ray 2 on my wrist. As you can see I swapped out the uh, the metal bracelet for this really nice Italian leather strap. And I think it really pops. Um, and again because this watch is so budget friendly you can buy it for under 200 I mean, spending an extra 40 or $50 on a really nice strap um, will really make it stand out, I think. Um, overall, I'm very impressed by this watch. It's uh, very well executed on the dial, very budget friendly. I guess, again, the only negatives um, I really had were the hollow end links on the bracelet, which uh, has been attenuated because I bought this really nice strap to go with it and then just operating the uh, the bezel and the crown um, the teeth on on both were a little hard to uh, to grip for my really thick uh, fingers so I don't know if that's an issue for everyone but other than that just an excellent watch guys I highly recommend you pick one up if you're in the market for a nice budget diver